I love how they just put the little setting in together. Everything just rolls in. I love that. All right. Got to talk to our baby girl. I'm not really on board with this idea, but gee, if everyone's going to go, I guess I'll have to go with everyone. Are they saying the same thing? Train. Is this it? Yeah, this is it, but are they all going to say something? Mm, that train, huh? I don't think it'll be as fun as a roller coaster. Huh. Well, I guess whatever we find in the fun house will be worth it. You're feeling the excitement of this attraction, aren't you? This is definitely your trap. Is it really okay if we jump in without even preparing? The only thing we can do is go, right? There's definitely something past that point. Also, what will you prepare? You can't fight back because he'll attack you and kill you. So, like, best thing with this kind of situation is not to draw things out. It's just to take it head on. Whatever happens, happens. Like you said, we don't have time to stand and stare. Douchebag, don't really care. I'll talk to Nagito. Now then, let's hurry up and go. It looks like the answers you're looking for are where that train is headed. What about you, baby girl? This attraction is quite unsettling. I wonder if it's alright. Yeah, everyone else can go eat a dick. I just need to get on this train, right? Well, there's no, really no need to be cautious. It's not like it's gonna speed up, drop, fly, or anything else. I'm gonna believe you this time, so you better be telling the truth. Alright, let's go. I legit have no idea. As soon as we all stepped on, the small train started slowly moving. And we went inside the dim tunnel. There's a Kanye. Yeah. I think. Okay. You got Nagito in the back, Cyborg with that. Okay, Chikaki. Okay, we're still, we got, that was good. We're next, we're next Chikaki, that's good. All right. Wait, is it sleeping gas? As soon as the white smoke surrounded us, our bodies started to feel soft like mola molasses. 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 I don't know what that word is. Our brain felt like they were starting to melt into a puddle of mush. And in the end, we lost consciousness. All right. That was one thing that I did not think would happen. I thought it would actually be a full ride. I guess this is where we all get separated. Strawberries. <sighs> when I woke up, I was someplace that didn't make sense. It was clearly a place I've never seen before. My sense of reality was still hazy, so I wasn't able to react right away. Where is this? However, when I looked over at Bulge standing tall in white stance, my sense of reality felt even hazier. Mm. Oh, there you go, baby girl's here. Oh. Mm, man, I slept good. Huh? Where are we? What the hell is this? Okay, everybody's here, right? Nagito. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Everybody's here. Voices expressing surprise and confusion began to surround me one after another. It seems that the others have started to wake up as well. Baby, go chikaki. Ne, ne. Why was I sleeping at a place like this? Okay, baby, go. You've slept in worse places. Oh, well, I should go back to sleep for a little longer. No, no, don't. You seriously can't do that. I assume... I assume that this was that gas is doing. So, who smelt it, dealt it. That gas we were forced to breathe right after the train started moving, it must have knocked us all out. And then we were brought here, huh? In that case, this must... In that case, this must be the interior of the fun house. Welcome, to, welcome to, welcome, welcome to the strawberry house. Strawberry house? Isn't this the fun house? 
Of course it's the funhouse. Strawberry house is part of the funhouse. A part, you say. Now then, allow me to explain already. This strawberry house in its entirety, the floor plan. I'm guessing we're in the yellow circle, the lobby. First floor, second floor, third floor. So it looks like this is basically like a hotel type shit. We're just gonna stay here instead of go back to our cottages. I kind of wish that happens, because that's probably not gonna happen, because that's where the slot machine and vending machine are. It'd be kind of cool if we just get stuck to like the new island then, and just stay here. And like, we have to kind of get reacquainted and stuff instead of going back to our cottages. You are currently at the indoor park located on the George floor. As you can see, there's a lot of playground equipment with strawberry designs. How fancy. Now then, next to the second floor, there's a lounge that's perfect for freshening up and I've prepared five guest rooms that are lined up like boom. Five, there's nine of us. The guest rooms are divided by quality grade. The deluxe room is soundproof and has excellent air installation. The standard room may have social installation but it's still pretty decent. And the Kwame room has severe airflow and draft problems. That concludes my explanation of second floor, last but not least, the first floor of the strawberry house. On this floor, there's a room called the final dead room that's all like boom. You can enter the final dead room at any time, but be extra cautious when you pick the difficulty setting. On the same floor, there's a hallway called strawberry hall, and when you pass through it, there's a truly strange, enormous tower standing tall with the boom boom. It's called the strawberry tower. Please use your own two feet to get a feel for what the inside of Strawberry Tower is like. Hey, no. This concludes the tour, but I think it was difficult to understand with my wordy explanation. So you should all just use your own two feet to explore the inside of the building. Mm -hmm. That's all for me. Any questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, we have questions, obviously. Hontoni, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. what's your question, Hontoni? To bring us to a place like this, what are you planning to make us do this time? That's right, I have a lot of questions, but let's start with that one first. Ah, I did not explain it to you. This is the motive this time. A an escape game. That is amazing. This escape game? The concept this time is a closed circle within a closed circle. Like Hope's Peak Academy back then, this fun house is a completely closed space. There's only one way to get out of this closed space building. When the killing begins, I'll let you guys out when the next killing happens. Let the escape game begin. You can only leave when the killing starts. And it's gonna be hard to kill somebody in here because it's so close quarters. That is insane. I love it. Huh? Soria! We can't get out of here until the next killing happens. I, I knew this was a trap, but I never expected it to be so straightforward. How, fool how foolish of me. If only I'd erected a magic barrier in my pants, I wouldn't have had to breathe in that gas. I let my guard down and ended up falling asleep. Yeah, how does that gas work on him, though? He shouldn't fall asleep. He's a robot. Like, why would gassing work on... There you go. Why would gassing work on a robot? That's supposed to be when you make your move. Gas shouldn't pose a problem, but... Cheeks, if they activate my sleep mode, even I won't stand a chance. Huh? Sleep mode? That's right. It's a cutting-edge function that puts my other functions to sleep, even, I have, even if I have insomnia. Just press the good night button on the back of my neck and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. What's the point of that function? Okay, we now know there's a sleep function on him. All right. That's going to come into play. Hey, come on. Give me a truth bullet, truth bullet for that. Didn't I just tell you it puts my other functions to sleep even if I have insomnia? Do you even need to sleep? In order to awaken from sleep mode, I just need to set the alarm in my chest. It's all possible with just one touch. Damn it, he's not even listening. He probably wants to live like humans as much as he can, such as the sad nature of robotic orgasms. Ah. At any rate, Monokuma, you're stuffed him with a lot of useless functions. Anyway, anyway, Mekomaru must have lost consciousness because his button was pressed. I love she says it like that. I love it. Chikaki better not go, man. I need Chikaki with me. 
I don't 100 percent remember how season one ended. If I did, I could probably like let you guys know how it could probably tie into this, but I legit don't remember how it ended. Yeah, I know some of the people who survived, but I don't know what happened in like the last episode. What a blunder. He must have taken advantage of that white smoke and went around me. I'll never let that happen ever again. No, no. No, no. For now, why don't we look for the exit? Exit? If, is there even an exit? I mean, if there was, this wouldn't be a close space, right? It'd make Monokuma's motive meaningless. Okay. What are you giving up for, dumbass? If we were brought inside this place, then there's definitely an exit somewhere. Out, so exit out somewhere. Amazing. A hot that refuses to give up until the very end. That must be hope. <laughs> yes, I understand. Then let's explore the inside of this building with that map we got. But exploring on your own is too dangerous. It might be better if we team up with someone I call Chikaki and Amane or Akane. Uh. Then Akane, you can come with me. Uh. Oh, that's an unusual combo. <laughs> Could this guy be, uh, uh. something like that, idiot? There's just something I want to talk to her about. Mm. I don't mind. Whatever's fine. He probably has like something. He probably has like a theory against uh, Nekomaru. Nekomaru, because I feel like there's something up up with him. I don't. Something doesn't feel right about him. <laughs> wow, when you two stand right next to each other, there's a noticeable height difference. <laughs> Drop it, bastard! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nagito, don't talk about his height, all right? Doesn't matter if he's three foot two. We still love him. He's oh, bite-sized. Hey, if we're gonna go, let's hurry up and go. Huh. All right. Well, then we'll go on ahead first. Well, actually, it shouldn't be in twos. It should be in pairs of three. There's nine of us. Three, three, three. It shouldn't be in twos. Because what if the killer is now alone with one other person? That's exactly what they would want. With those parting words, the two of them left the area. Sonia well, Miss Sonia, I guess it's time we all say. Sonia. Sonia already left with Gundam. Huh? <laughs> oh, you got dumped. Oh, you got, you got dumped. Idiot, I didn't get dumped. Why would I get dumped? In fact, I'm really popular. That's obviously not true. Now then, I think it's time for me to get going too, so... Chikaki, would you like to go together? Me? I haven't really had the chance to talk to you, so I thought this would be a great opportunity. Then take me with you two. Three people is okay, right? Huh? Oh, that's, that's fine, but... Oh, I get it. Kuchi's trying to avoid Hajime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what are you talking about? Talking about? I'm talking about uh, avoid Haji, man. There's nothing like that. What do you mean? Oh, no, Call it a hunch, but maybe Ku maybe Kuchi can't stop thinking about it, you know? The possibility that you are a traitor. What? Because the what? <laughs> because the Super Bowl. Oh, I was just. I just said what Kuchi was feeling. Well, well, you know, the truth is we don't know anything about you, so it's not my fault if I don't trust you. Literally, I'm the dude running the last three cases. I was the main person leading those cases to find out the killer. What were you doing? Your parents named you Coochie, dog. What does that mean? We've been together this whole time and you still don't know who I am? Like that matters. It's not like I know the real you. And you know the real Nagito and you know the real Chikaki? I, I bet. Have fun with that. Just like how we didn't know anything about me, kind. The real me? Huh? And the only reason we're here is because you were the one who suggested that we go to the fun house, right? Are you saying I lose you guys here? Why would I do that? It's not that far fetched, you know? Alright, Kuchi, I hope you die next. Dumb turd. I'm sorry, Hajime. I really do want to trust you. But I just can't yet. That's why I'm going to go with Chikaki. It's not like I want to go with Nagito either. But you're saying Nagito is more trustworthy than me? What the hell? Damn it, why did, why did this happen, dog? If that's the case, it is what it is. Why don't you come along with us, Keiichi? Ah, uh, but... It's fine, Chik- It's fine, Chikaki. Just... Just go, man. It's messed up, man. Got it. I'll see you later. With that, Kuchi, Chikaki, and Nagito all left together to explore the area. I get- Oh, I forgot this homie is here. Oh, yeah, because we're doing twos. We're not doing threes. I, I forgot we're not doing threes. We're doing twos. I guess we're the leftovers. Looks like we're not very well liked. 
it's not like complaining about it will change anything we're just a trader and a robot after all <laughs> i'm not the trader man oh that's right i apologize well then hajime let's show everyone else the value in leftovers let's magnificently find the exit with our own very hands if we do that it would solve everything when people stop trusting you, it seriously sucks. But I don't really care, man. Do what you want. I slept with, I slept with Mikan and I slept with Akane. So you guys can go suck it, douchebags. All right, what we got going on here? Can I, like, click any of these things? Or what is that back there? There's a lot of different types of flowers blooming in the garden. Looks like there's sunflowers, but I guess there aren't any strawberries. All right, how do I uh, get up out of here? No matter where where I look, every area is decorated with strawberry patterns. I don't hate strawberries, but if these patterns continue, I just might get sick of them. Wait, let me just fix my mic. Sorry about that. Hmm. According to Monokuma's map, the only thing on the third floor is the park we're currently at. And then it looks like I don't have any business on this floor. <laughs> Just so you know, Haji mate, let me know whenever you're feeling thirsty. Dude, I don't want your bodily fluids in my mouth, dog. He's talking about a soda fountain? I don't really want to drink anything that comes out of his eyes. Oh, finally we can move around. Hey, big cut. Oh, what up, cut? Alright, we got the doll. That doll, drop that thing. Yeah, boy. We should at least get 100 coins for that dog. All right, Nekomaru, don't want to talk to him. Wait, what is this? Park. Oh, okay. Slide. Monokuma said that this open area is apparently an indoor park. As expected, the strawberry house, the playground equipment scattered about has a strawberry theme. One moment. What time is it? Yeah, I still got time. Of course, I'm not a kid. I gotta go out. I gotta go meet somebody. Of course, I'm not a kid who'd be amused by something like this, but like this, besides, I don't have time to play anyway. Hmm. What you need is you need to stand right here, then have a Connie go down the slide. All right, exit. Stars. I love that we actually go down the stairs. According to the map, this should be guest rooms and the lounge on the second floor. Ooh. All right, I shall go explore the guest rooms, the lounges, all of you. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Shouldn't we explore things together, though? Because that's the whole point. Otherwise, everyone should just do their own thing. Third floor, that stairs, this is the lounge area. Oh, is that a big candy? Strawberry candy? I remember those strawberry candies, man. You guys remember those? It was like red with like green. This thing was red, and then this outside was uh, green. It was like crinkly paper, teapot, strawberry. Crummy room. All right, they're just chilling over here. Dude, I hope Coochie dies. I hate that guy. Oh, there's two crummy rooms. Crummy room. Sorry for the mouse swiping. It's just I'm playing really relaxed right now. I don't have that much mouse space. Deluxe room. Deluxe room. Where is the medium room? The standard room. Is that not on this floor? Okay, so let's go to the crummy room. Strawberry house, crummy room. Hey, that bad. Kind of looks like our place. Surveillance camera. Is that a present? Can I open that? Monitor. Anything here that can... For Monokuma dollar or something? It's sometimes hard to find out what you can click and what can you not click. Leave here, yes. Okay, so we'll get the other crummy room. Don't go to the deluxe. I'm not exactly sure where the um, uh, thingy is. I don't know what I meant by saying that. Okay. The little knitting thingy. I feel like that can be used for something killing something all right so both of them are alike let's go to the deluxe room check that out better i like a jacuzzi in there with the connie inside already 
We're just gonna back it up and dump it back back. Oh, this is the standard room? Oh, there's only one standard room. Oh yeah, there's five rooms. Two, three, four, five. All right. Uh, he just looks too happy to be standing in a corner right now. Let's go to the deluxe and then the standard. I forgot there's five rooms, my bad. Oh, nice. Can I take a candy? Can I light a fire? Rainbows? What is this thing in the back? What is that thing in the back? Is that a TV type, type shit? What is that? They should have had like a honeymoon suite type shit going on. Oh, there's something back here? Monokuma doll? Alright, we're just gonna dip out of here. Okay, let's check out the standard room. I can hear voices inside. Sounds like someone is in there. Uh, I'm gonna guess Akane. Yeah, Akane and this guy, they're talking. Oh, no. Hey, what do you want to talk about? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm sure you don't want to hear this since I caused a similar incident. I already know that a guy like me has no right to say this to you, but... <laughs> but... But when I look at you, I just have to say something. Then spit it out. You don't need to act so stubborn, you know, because I know what you're going through. Huh? The only reason you're standing here right now is because someone sacrificed himself for you. You feel guilty about that, isn't that right? Hey, what are you talking about? So you don't want to be honest about it. Uh, well, I understand that feeling too. Seriously, what are you? What the hell are you talking about? He's such a good guy, man. But like I said, he's better. It's better just to be alive. It might hurt to look at his painful appearance right now. <laughs> but you're much better off because at least he's still alive. I, I mean, for me. Sorry, but dude, he's such a good guy, man. I'm. All it took was to kill our homegirl, Peko Peko, for him to become who he actually is and drop that front. And for that, I'm okay with it. I'm okay. Is that a Monokuma doll in the back? Ears popping out? Oh, are, are you crying? Right now, I feel grateful to her, but I can't tell her that anymore. But you're different, so... Make sure you tell him how grateful you are. Better yet, show him. Huh? Wait, so what are you trying to say again? It's a Monokuma doll right there, right? It's a 100% it's a Monokuma doll, right? One in the back right there. Or is that someone hiding? Uh, that's a Monokuma doll, dog. I quietly left the guest room so they wouldn't notice me. Wait, what? There's a Monokuma doll right there. Stupid turds, man. Hickey took his time to talk to her, but it looks like Akane didn't really understand the conversation. I feel like she does, but she doesn't want to say anything. Okay, so he went in there. He went in that one, or he went in this one? Oh, Nekomaru's gone. I didn't know that would happen, otherwise I would have spoken to him. Actually, I wouldn't know. We don't care. Do we go in this one or the other one? Looks like I have to go to both of them because my memory sucks. Alright, deluxe room. Same as always. Let's turn around and hit the other one. This escape room thing is super sweet, man. I can't wait. This game is just amazing. 10 out of 10 still, even though that's con that's including my hate for Monokuma and Monome. Are you chilling in here, dog? However, I never expected to be to lose three people during my absence. Yeah. Yoko and Ibuki. Those two were quite the nosy bunch as if it was a, it was, it's as if a fire was smothered. And I can't believe Mikan was the one who murdered them. I still can't believe they killed three people. In that one chapter, we, killed, we lost three individuals. That's why, no matter what shape you're in, we're all extremely happy that you came back to us. Then I must live up to everyone's expectations. As long as I'm here, I will not tolerate any more victims. I won't allow it. It's, that is a golden jinxy thing to say, man. You gotta stop jinking things up. Leave here. I don't see any more Nikuma dolls. And if there are, then... I don't know. Whatever. Lounge. Where's stupid Coochie at, man? I want to drop pick his ass. Hmm, so this is the lounge. This is also completely covered in strawberries. It's gonna be difficult to relax here. What is that, George Washington on the left? I guess for now I should look for things I might be able to use. Ah, there's a telephone. The fact that there's a phone in this building is clearly suspicious. Will I be able to call somewhere with this? When I walked towards the cell phone, I immediately noticed it. Wait, what's this? Instead of numbered buttons, there's a single button with a grape image on it. 
But why grapes? Why not strawberries? Well, for now, I'll give it a press. Oh, my bad. I thought it would go automatically. Sounds like it's connected to somewhere. But no one's picking up. What's a mysterious device that may be used for summoning rituals and no novice shouldn't care if you touch it? It's probably not that dangerous. Aside from that button, it looks like any other regular telephone. But it doesn't work like a normal telephone and I don't even know what it was connecting to. My full dark day was a destruction on investigating the area, but it seems like nothing of note to report. Why have you given up? There may still be something on this floor we have not searched yet. Yeah, you're right. It's still too soon to give up. Good. I leave this matter to your discretion. Alright. I should try exploring the first floor. I haven't seen it yet. Back that thing up. Wait, it's not over here, right? Is it? No. Yeah, there's, how's our little shit stain doing? Go away, babe. Go away, babe. Go away. Oh my god. Despair meter. My bad, huh? Alright. I do think... I don't remember how many, but if I have a certain amount, I get shit of me. So I want to kind of get shit of me because I never got her shit of me before. You gotta make sure it doesn't die. First floor is bathrooms. There wasn't anything terribly important on the third or second floor, but that doesn't mean there's nothing here. I should look around thoroughly. Homie's over here taking a dump already. Where's our baby girl? I hate you. <laughs> Poo, stupid idiot. What happened? Did you get tired again? No, I was just thinking, why strawberry? Huh? Why is it? Personally, I think tangerines are totally fine too, or even fruits like peaches and apples. Yeah, any of those fruits would have been fine. Nah, nah. And nah, nah. Then why strawberry? Who knows? Mm. Such a mystery. I love that she thinks about things like that. And I really think she has a lot of, like, theories that she still hasn't shared with us. But I guarantee you she has a bunch of theories of what's... Why is it that all this stuff is happening to us? Hopefully one day she'll tell us. What was that conversation just now? I'm not talking to you, dumbass dog. Oh, what's that? Final dead room. Where's this tower? Is that a tower? It's the elevator. That is the strawberry hall. That is the bathroom. I want to go in that one. God damn it. Clock. It's a wall clock. A wall clock above the bathroom door. Jeez, what kind of placement is that? So you know how long you've been waiting... Uh, to go to the bathroom when someone's in there dropping a deuce. Looks like this is the bathroom. Every time I see a bathroom, I get this lonely feeling. When in the world is my constipation gonna be fixed? He's got that sick diarrhea. Come on, but didn't they fix that stuff when, like, your bulge is gone, by the way? So didn't they fix that stuff? I can't believe they took away his bulge. Didn't they fix that stuff? Your constipation gonna be fixed? I think you're a robot. All right, Nagito, what you got? Did you find anything? Wait, what's that? You guys saw that? Turn. Oh, we can't go here. Why is it so bright, though? I, I don't know. Hey, what up, baby boy? <laughs> Are you? Everyone is a symbol of hope. They're all completely different compared to a quitter like me. I'm terribly sorry that someone like me is forced to be with everyone like this. This is the final dead room. What is this? Elevator. What is this? Oh, is this a strawberry door? Strawberry hall door. Strawberry hall door. What's the difference between that and that tower thingy they were talking about? You can't run in here. Final dead room. Go in here. This door looks like it gives off a different vibe compared to everything else. The final dead room. Allow me to explain. The final dead room is a challenge given to you by the headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the octagon in the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. 
Life-threatening game? What the hell is that? Did he just say I can obtain the ultimate weapon if I win? How stupid. Who the hell is going to do that, Chikaki? So can I go in there or not? Winning a life and life-threatening game, obtaining the ultimate weapon. How stupid. Who the hell is going to do that? I guess I can't go in there. What about the elevator? What can I do with the elevator? Ah, oh, isn't this an elevator? Well, that's weird. The only stairs are between this building's second and third floor. What does this mean? There's a basement? There's a button next to the door. And a grape image the same as a button on the lounge telephone. What will happen if I press this? And so without really thinking about it, I tried pressing the button. But... Cheeks, it's not reacting at all. Is it out of order? I don't really get it, but it looks like the elevator is... is look, it looks like the elevator is uh, usable. What is it, Hajime? Did you find something? That final dead room place sounds suspicious, but going inside might be a little dangerous. Monokuma did mention a life-threatening game. Send the robot, dude. You should be fine, Mecha Mechamaru. Mm. It's not even worth playing if you all if all you get after winning is a weapon. Mm. Now then, the yeah, others should be a, a strawberry tower at the far back of Strawberry Hall. Let's get going already. So what I'm thinking is that someone's gonna finish it. This game, they'll finish, they'll get the weapon, and they'll kill somebody with it, and they'll figure out who won this game by actually going and playing the game. Stuff like that. Yeah, I think we did everything. I'm not talking to Kuchi, man. Oh, we can eat a bag of dicks. Oh. This one has a strawberry button on it. According to the map, strawberry tower is on the other side of the door. There's no doorknob. There's no way we can open the door like this. Maybe. Maybe you just have to press the button next to the door. That's next to the best. That's next to the door. You know the one that says open written on it. I wonder what that means. It's funny. It's spelled just like the word open. I wait seriously. Anyway, I just have to press this button. Then Megumara raises his right arm and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. Grapes. I love green grapes because they're sour. Oh my god. Sensual. This is Strawberry Tower, huh? The building is shaped like a huge circle, plus the ceiling is so high I can't really make it out. Jeez, more of these bright red decorations. What terrible taste. It's Blood Gang, dog. Young Blood Gang. Mm. Well, with a name like Strawberry Tower, I guess the terrible decorations are intentional. That's right, this is Strawberry Tower, right? Then why... Why do I see something that doesn't match the strawberry theme at all? So I'm guessing you click, you press the button up top for the elevator to work. I should. Um, why are we alone here? Shouldn't everybody here be with us? Is that Monomi's face? Of course it is. Door. There's a huge door at the far back of the tower, but there's a grape image on it. I thought this was strawberry tower. Wait, this image. Doesn't it match the one in the lounge phone and also the one we found near the first elevator? First floor elevator. Perhaps this door might be the exit. Huh? Exit? I feel like the elevator takes you out of the funhouse. Mm. Take a look at the map we received from Monokuma. There's a door at the far back strawberry tower, but nothing is drawn on the other side of that door. Now, doesn't this mean that the exit is on the other side of the door? I don't know, dog. What are you talking about? Asking me for, dog. Therefore, we must try to confirm it by opening this door. Mekumaru let out a battle cry, grabbed the door knob tightly with both his hands, and attempted to pry the door open. However, clatter, 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 clatter. What does this mean? The door knob won't budge, not even one bit. Is it a lot? No, oh, you gotta hit one of them fangs, dog. You, it's connecting, and it, it gives you access to these things. Well, shit, appears to be locked tight. Where's everybody else? In that case, I shall use my full power. Ooh, ooh. The fierce roar, Me Mekumaru put all his power into grabbing the door, not with both hands. But... Not yet. Not yet. Here it comes, the incredible strength of one million horsepower. What a loser. Wait, isn't it creaking? If you break off the door, I will be stuck in here. That would be bad. 
So shouldn't we discuss this with everyone else first before you attempt to force your way through? You have a point. Very well then, even though the door would have opened soon, I'll give it a rest. Then let's go back to the strawberry house and discuss this with everyone. If they'll listen to what I have to say, that is. Yeah, they're a bunch of bitches. Uh, where's my, where's my thing? Uh, um, doll? Leave, yeah. Huh, is it just me or does this seem rowdy by the elevator over there? Did something happen? Don't tell me someone died already. How are you guys doing? Were you able to get the general idea of Strawberry House site? What? Strawberry House is site? That's a strange thing to say. It sounds like there are other buildings. Of course. That's why there's this thing called a contact elevator. Ooh. Contact elevator, you say? Yeah, yeah. Even though it's an elevator, it's a big mistake to think that it moves vertically. This is an elevator that travels along a rail, so even moving horizontally is easy as pie. Then, does this elevator go to a different building? Oh. That's right, to the Grape House. Huh? Grape House? Grape House? The fun house is an enormous building that's made up of other buildings. Well, we can worry about the details when we get to the grape house. I'll be going ahead. Huh? I don't really get it, but he just wanted to tell us to go to the grape house this time, right? And that we must ride that elevator, right? What should we do? We just have to go for it. The only way we can overcome the situation is to make a move. But still, you know. <laughs> what, you scared? Ah, oh, hell, oh, hell no. Why are you saying that in front of Miss Sonia? Huh? Fine, I'll fucking go. I ain't scared at all. Well, I don't have it as bad as Coochie, but I do have a bad feeling about this. But we can't just stand here and do nothing. Alright, let's go. I pressed the great button next to the door and it immediately opened. Throw it big, make it clear, make it throw, make it look like a snake. We stepped onto the elevator and off we went to Grape House. Oh, it's the same elevator type shit, but uh, it's all puzzles. It's pretty cool. Is this already moving? <sighs> if so, that'd be awesome. Oh, so. I mean, I mean, it's not, I'm just not vibrating at all, right? This is probably a really high performance elevator if it's not vibrating at all that much. Or are we really moving? Or is this lying to us? Maybe it's not actually moving. Alright, let's open the door and make sure. Cannot, that is too dangerous. After staying inside the vibration free elevator, eventually the door in front of us suddenly opened. It appears you've arrived at our destination. And now we're in a creep place. So, this is Grape House. No matter where I look, everything is plastered with grape patterns. I was already fed up with the strawberry patterns, but this is also unpleasant. This is this is where all the vegans live at. Okay, welcome to the Grape House. Now, do you allow me to explain the Grape House? This is the Grape House in its entirety. So, let's start explaining the first floor. <clears throat> Aside from the fact that there's no final dead room, it's basically no different than a strawberry room. That's like how you how like there's a strawberry heart over there, there's a grape pot on this side. When you go to the grape pot, that means there's a grape tower. The second floor of the house is the same as the second floor of the strawberry house. I prepared five guest rooms of different types along with a relaxing lounge. But the main attraction of the grape house is obviously the third floor. The Monokuma Archive, where everyone loves Monokuma Archive. If you want to know about my prior accomplishments and contributions, feel free to stay the literature deal. Is that where the profiles are? Hey, no. Now then, this concludes the tour, but I believe it'd be difficult to understand if I'd explain with words. So you should all just use your two feet to check out the inside the building. Mm -hmm. That's all for me. Any questions? Like, I'm starting to get hungry. Where's the food anyway? Huh? Uh, is that necessary? What are you saying? Of course it is. But it's supposed to be a game, so how can there be any tension if there's no time limit? 
So I've decided to use your stomachs as the time limit. Oh my god. If that's true, then Akana is gonna... Akana is gonna go crazy. What do you mean? Well, simply put... It means kill someone before you starve to death. That is actually really good. What the heck? If you're planning on killing... If you're planning to kill someone, I highly recommend you make your kill as soon as possible. It'll be too late if you get so weak, you have no energy to kill. That is genius. Hey, hey, hold on. Starve? Damn it, how much more of this do we have to take until you're satisfied? Was he serious about there being no food? No, no way, that's the one thing I don't want. I don't mind starving as long as I can eat. Just let me eat already. As soon as she learned there was no food, she was overcome by hunger. Obsession, obsessions are truly annoying. But at least try to stay calm. Now it's not the time for you to panic. Well, being loud here isn't going to help us. So for now, we should explore the inside of this building too. After all, if you don't give up, me, you're sure to find that you, if, if you if you don't if you don't give up, you're sure to find hope. Isn't that right, Hickey? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Yes. Then let's get started. The same pairings as before is fine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. This time around, I want really, I really want to pair up with Miss Sonia. Suga. She are, she already left with Gundam. Mm. Looks like you're being avoided, not just rejected. <laughs> Kuchi, I understand that you're feeling down, but we better get going. Uh. Akane, you too. How much longer are you going to stay shocked? Come on, let's go. So have you steps everyone left to explore Grape House. Mm. Now then, where should we start? Since we're, since we're on the first floor, it might be okay if we start with the Grape Tower. So you're saying you're going to start with the most suspicious place? Alright, then let's start with the Grape Tower. I just said that, but I'm gonna say it again. Let's start with the Grape Tower. Anyway, let's find the exit. Damn it, there's no way I'm gonna let myself starve to death in here. Ooh, this sucks, man. That is amazing. That's the motive, too. You wanna leave? You wanna escape? Not only do you wanna escape from this place, you wanna don't wanna starve to death. That is insane, man. Alright, uh, we're gonna call it right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I am so tired. It's been a long day. We'll be back tomorrow, though. I'm really curious. Out of all of them, this one so far is the most interesting because killing can happen at any time. And like you said, you wanna do the killing early because that's when you'll have the most energy. Doing it later is gonna suck because it's just gonna be much more difficult. This game is just amazing, man. Our goal is to protect Chikaki. Our goal is to protect Akane. The only problem is the eating thing will affect Akane the most. That's just gonna suck. So she might be like the prime suspect if something happens, or she'll be the one people. But I feel like if she, the more she'll get, the more hungrier she is, the wilder she'll get. So I feel like because of that, she'll probably be able to fend off any attacks. And then Nekumaru or Mekumaru shouldn't have a problem because I don't think he needs to eat. He says he does, but does he really? I feel like he's lying. Because if he's a robot, he doesn't need to eat. Um, What if he's programmed? Like, he's not even, like... They're using all the other voice lines from when he used to be alive. So, like, they're just repeating those things. And imagine if he's actually dead, dead. And they're just acting like he's there, but it's not... There's really not nine students, there's eight students left. That'd be kind of crazy. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with another episode of Dunkin' Donuts 2. Goodbye, despair. Till then, peace.